and welcome back to my channel first before we go any further i would like to send a personal shout out to miss antoinette for subbing to my channel hi miss antoinette <laughs> <laughs> but anyway guys I had two other subs as well but your name hasn't popped up as of yet but I'm so happy to have you and I hope you enjoy the content here but guys without further ado let's get into this video <laughs> all that good stuff and all that jazz but um let's go ahead and prep and prime the skin um i already moisturized so let me just put my primer on and what we're gonna do we're gonna use on one side um with the brush and see how it looks with a brush in the other side we're gonna use a sponge and see which one looks better and yeah let's see let's do it like this just to see which one looks the best but nine times out of ten i don't fell in love with using my foundation my sponge to put down my foundation so i'm probably gonna like that more but you know let's just give it a go just to see anyway so i'm gonna use the i'm trying to use all things nyx so i'm gonna use the nyx professional makeup pore filler um to prime my face i already moisturized so let's just see So, um, let's get into this foundation. Um, I chose the color um, Mocha because I'm Mocha and it can't stop, won't stop. So, I'm hoping that the colors are consistent with the can't stop, won't stop for it's my color found, uh, my foundation shade. Um, I'm just going to dab a little bit on the back of my hand. Not very much. And I hope this is good because I love a dewy look. Um, I rather dewy than matte. So um, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna apply one side with a sponge and the other side with a foundation brush. Um, so we're gonna start off with the foundation brush. Just put a little dab on the brush. That much. Put that much on it. So we're just gonna do one half with a brush and the other side with a sponge. Look like the color gonna be pretty consistent with the Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. So that's what I'm hoping. and apply the um the other side with the sponge let's see i'm just gonna dab this on the sponge Y'all, I'm seeing already, this is gonna probably have to be applied with a brush because it's kind of like water, feel kind of like water-based a little bit. It's a little runny, but, um, it look like most of my product is inside of my sponge, but that's real nice. And like I said, I'm a fan of dewy. I love a dewy look. I rather dewy than matte. Um, I even do a semi matte or what they call in the beauty world, semi matte, uh, demi matte, or however, because I heard it say uh, <laughs> a few different ways semi matte, demi matte, whatever. But, um, as long as it's not too matte, matte, because I have run into some foundations that I have just chunked in the trash because I was like, that's just too matte for my skin. But um, I'm going to go in with the Born to Glow Concealer. And I wasn't expecting the application to be like that. It's like little 
spongy thing. But yeah, and it's, I don't know, let's see, let's, oh, okay. It's sort of kind of creamy, light, but it's not runny. So, yeah, I, I kind of like that. But I feel like this is going to leave a little mess somewhere inside the cap or something. So I'm just going to dab the excess off to keep from making a mess because I don't want it to run back out the top. So, yeah, just dab it off and... That in for a few seconds and I'm just going to blend it out but like I said I'm not a fan of the shade that I picked which was probably my fault but um yeah because it is kind of a little light for my liking even though I like a golden undertone because in the can't stop won't stop I normally use a cappuccino or warm honey as my contour shade It's just too light for me so I'm just gonna go in because I am going out the door and I don't want to go out the door looking crazy yeah <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with um, my can't stop won't stop concealer um, and warm honey just to kind of darken this up a little bit for my liking and I might go back and um, pick out another concealer, another concealer shade, because I like this. I just don't like the color, and it blends out pretty. Yeah. got everything fixed I'm just gonna go ahead and contour uh, with the shade deep espresso and y'all it don't take much of this stuff but I swear it don't just put a little dot there and drag it Everything looks pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and um, set my face and all that jazz I'm gonna use um, the NYX mineral powder the matte mineral powder just to kind of balance out the foundation because the foundation is supposed to be like a dewy foundation so just to balance that out. I'm just going to put some in the cap. No, not much. A little bit in the cap. Mm. 
to impress the excess out on my hand. It's not bad. Okay. Not too bad. Okay, so I picked up the blush as well. The Sweet Cheeks blush. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a shimmery blush. Let me just go in it a little bit at a time because I don't know how pigmented it is. And I'm scared of pigment <laughs> in certain stuff because, oh my goodness, child. pretty oh wow that's pretty I don't know how well it's picking up on camera guys but it is really pretty in person it's like a subtle shimmer not too much Well, I don't need no highlight on. It's really pretty, y'all. Let's in a little bit so y'all can see what I got so going on up on her. But anyway, guys, um, as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, um, the shade, it comes in 45 shades. I have the shade Mocha, like I stated earlier. And I really like it. I like it. I almost want to like it better than my Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Because I'm a dewy girl, I love a dewy finish. I love a dewy look and this is right up my alley. Do y'all see this? She ready. But anyway, yes guys, um, just to give y'all a little bit of rundown on this, this is the Born to Glow Foundation. If I didn't say it earlier, I'm just gonna repeat it again. Um, it's in 45 different shades. Um, I think I picked mine up for, I think, 10 bucks. I think I picked this up in my local Walgreens, and I think it was like 10 bucks. So, yeah, and I picked up also their blush, and this is called Sweet Cheeks, and she ready. <laughs> yes, honey. I love this. I'm for to say it's a blush slash highlighter for me. So I didn't have to put on no blush or highlighter. It was already together. So there it is. I ain't do all the extra step stuff. Yeah, and um the concealer. I'm not too happy about the concealer. I just don't care too much. Well, I ain't gonna say I'm not happy about it. I just don't think it was my shade. I'm just going to be a little bit biased about that and just say it wasn't my shade. So, but I did like the creaminess of it. It wasn't like a thick foundation that dried down real fast that you couldn't work with. So I like that portion of it, but hopefully I can go back and maybe find my shade. Um, once they get, cause see, I actually, in all honesty, they didn't have everything put up in, in place. So I just snatched it up and didn't wait because I thought maybe it, because looking at the undertone of it, I thought it would have been great for me. But um, yeah, I can use this, to repurpose it for something else. So um, it don't matter. But anyway, I like I said, I like the consistency in it, uh, the feel of it. 
but I'm just not a fan of the color. But like I said, that's my fault. Picked up the wrong shade, thinking that it would work for me. But anyway, guys, that is my final thoughts on this look and this foundation. Baby girl. Baby girl. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. And I'm going to get on my way because I'm actually finna get ready to take my kids to the MLK parade. So, uh, yeah, today is that day. So, y'all get this tomorrow. I'll be uploading this tomorrow. But, yeah, guys, in the mean, bleh, Lord, what was about to come out my mouth just then? But anyway, guys, in the meantime, between time, stay blessed. And may God open up the windows and pour you out of abundance of blessings. See you guys in my next one. Bye.